guys Ben here and welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about a range of stuff but most specifically when the next piece of flash footage is going to be coming out and also some other stuff mainly to do with crisis so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year okay so we got a bunch of stuff to go over in this video sorry that there's been no videos in about three days I was away and I really had no ideas for videos because as you know August is the month where we basically have no information apart from a few scattered tidbits towards the end of the month and that's about it because we have already had Comic Con which I was at, it was amazing, we had a lot of information but that drops all at one time and then August is always a dry month for Flash and DC TV news in general. So. Today we're going to be talking about when to expect the next piece of footage that you can be looking forward to and also we've got some other stuff to do with Crisis. But yeah, first off, when will we see this? So I do this video every year of when to expect, you know, the next piece of footage when we're in this sort of dry month because, you know, not everyone knows about all the scheduling. So the next piece of footage that you should be expecting, so last year they actually released on August 22nd, 2018 obviously. A look at the new seasons but this was a promo shoot so they sometimes do these CW dare to defy promos so it's not real footage for the shows but it's new content surrounding the shows so maybe expect one of those trailers you know around the end of the month like you know in the next few weeks or so probably in the next week actually if we are to get it so they're pretty cool but the next piece of actual footage where you will see new actual footage from the shows is normally what they do with the DCTV suit up trailers. I'm not always the biggest fan of these because they sort of just splice together a lot of the footage but last year it was really exciting because we got the new flash reveal of his new suit and maybe we can expect something like that with you know the upgraded suit that we've been teased with. We've seen obviously some photos but that wasn't you know on set or like in footage. We haven't seen anything of how it actually looks when it's not photoshopped and you know part of an entertainment weekly issue. So this trailer the DCTV suit up trailer comes at around right at the end of August normally and it has so for the past few years I remember you know they release it roughly the same time every year so I'm expecting that to be our first sort of new piece of footage for the Flash, Supergirl, Arrow, Legends and also Black Lightning and Batwoman in this case this year so August 29th was when it was released last year so I would put my money on you know it coming pretty much around that same time this year so that will see footage from all the shows, not just specifically The Flash. But then we move on to when we'll see the first official promo that is, you know, I guess a bit like the Comic Con trailer. You'll see footage from Comic Con in this trailer, but you'll see a bunch of new scenes that you haven't seen before. And this is the first official promo that they drop. Obviously the Comic Con one was a trailer. This is a promo, it's a bit shorter, around 30 to 40 seconds long. So they normally release that sometime in the next week or in the same week as they release the DCTV suit up trailers, you know, when they're all together. And this is a solo trailer for the different shows. So last year, The Flash released a trailer, well, a promo for season five, episode one, titled Shadows on September the 4th. So that is not a long time away, considering we're on the 14th right now of August. We are getting pretty close to September so I'm expecting a trailer to drop around sometime you know around September 4th so in the first week or so of September is maybe when to expect our first look footage just specifically to do with the Flash and obviously Supergirl will have its own footage, Arrow will and so on and so forth. So that is really it to do with the Flash this video we're going to be talking about some crisis stuff next. Okay so we're going to be sort of talking about a few rumours and you know trying to debunk some of it so Tom Welling has been teasing fans about appearing in crisis recently and it's very funny it's very good but I just want to come out and say there has been no confirmation of him coming although he's messing with fans as you'll see on the screen right here and Steven's messing with fans as well which is great fun 
it's not confirmed, nothing is confirmed in regards to Tom Welling showing up. There is a possibility that they will make it work and it's probably more than likely he will show up considering they've cast all these people to actually show up for Crisis, these legacy castings. But there is also a high chance that, you know, nothing works out and it's just back to the drawing board with no new version of Superman or whoever Tom Welling would be playing if he did appear. But yeah, so nothing's confirmed right now, but he has been teasing fans along with Steven, their good friends. So, you know, take it as you will. Okay, so there was also a rumor this weekend that Titans, the TV show from DC Universe, is going to be crossing over into Crisis on Infinite Earths. And this rumor was supposedly from a reliable source, but that source actually got it all mixed up and it turns out to be false. Titans aren't showing up in the crossover and it would be totally out of whack in my opinion if they were to show up. I love Titans, I love the show, and you guys know I love the Arrowverse shows, and it would be awesome to see them cross over. However, their tones are so drastically different, I would not see how it would work. I don't think it's possible, like, I don't think, in terms of, like, MCU, this is for comparison, I don't think Deadpool can cross over into the MCU films. I just don't think it can happen. It would be stupid, and I think if they sort of stick with this tone in Titan Season 2, I don't think there would be a good chance for them to neatly cross over because, you know, they would be walking into a completely different world and a completely different tone. So, I'm kind of happy that it's false, although I would like to see it. I think it just doesn't mesh too well in terms of, you know, what we've seen before from these specific shows and their sort of tones. So, Moving on to the next piece of information that I want to break down. This is again from We Got This Covered. I seem to be talking about them a lot recently. They do this every year where leading up to a big event, normally the crossover, they make up a lot of information and they sort of spew out these articles to try and get some views. Highly recommend you don't click on their articles because most of them are made up and it's been told even by celebrities that these articles are actually fake. So today we're specifically talking about a new article that they put out saying we got an exclusive, we got this covered, has been told Supergirl's Earth, Earth 38 is going to merge with Earth 1 in Crisis on Infinite Earths. They've called this an exclusive, they've called this, you know, they've been told by a source that Supergirl will be based on Earth-1 following the crossover, they confirm this. This is due to the Anti-Monitor's actions with at least Earth-1 and Earth-38 blending into one. By the end of the event, DC fans won't be surprised by this either because it happens in the comic books. And I'm not surprised by this article because everyone knows this is going to happen. Everyone knows this is a high possibility because if you read Crisis, you know that this is a massive thing in the comics that many Earths are destroyed, many Earths merge, five Earths merge into Earth 1, and then you get these different iterations of these characters in the multiverse coming together. And so the fact that they call this, that a source has specifically reached out to them, and we know their sources are highly unreliable, it's just bullshit because we all know this is happening. They made it up saying, oh, we've been informed that Supergirl's Earth's gonna, you know, merge with Earth 1. We all fucking know that's going to happen, so this is not news, it's just a simple article that you put out and try to disguise it as news, and it's just really frustrating because we've all theorised about this, and if you've read Crisis, like I said before, you know that it's probably more likely than not going to happen, so don't call it news. So yeah, just a little bit frustrating, the fact that they are trying to sort of make an article out of that when, you know, it's kind of just common sense if you've read the comic books so everything is super exciting everything's kicking off right now we've only got a few months until the Arrowverse shows return in very early October obviously I've seen Batwoman I highly recommend you guys go check out Batwoman when it comes out on a Sunday night the same night as Supergirl I really enjoyed it I've seen it two times and I can't wait for you guys to see it also Obviously, Supergirl's returning The Flash, Arrow's in its final season, we got Legends returning later in the year, obviously Black Lightning's part of the crossover, that's exciting. So, we don't have to wait very long, we're in August, the long wait is nearly over, we've been on break since about May, obviously, 
we are getting really close to 100,000 subscribers and obviously I don't expect to hit it over the summer because you know the shows aren't on there's honestly not that much content to cover so I would really appreciate it if you guys continue to share my channel around and try and help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the time we actually hit October where we have the TV shows return so thank you guys so much for the support thank you for watching this video I'll see you guys later goodbye I see red.